Hi friends, it's Kate. Welcome to the short and sweet shoulder opening class. So if you have any tension or clenching in your shoulders or your chest area, this is the class for you. If you spend a lot of time typing at a desk or texting or scrolling, driving, that's a lot of us, this is gonna help you open up that space. Also, if you're practicing asanas where your arms are in flexion, straight and overhead, uh, like handstand or, or forearm stand or wheel pose, this is really gonna help you open up your shoulders. So it's not a typical vinyasa class. We're gonna sink into a handful of poses and really get deep into them. You'll need two things for this class. You will need a block and a strap. And if you don't have those, I've linked them below if you wanna purchase them. Um, and if you don't have a strap, you can use a towel or anything that allows you to grab onto. If you like this class, give it a thumbs up. If it makes you feel good, comment, let me know. That's awesome. And subscribe if you want to practice more. And if you want to build more consistency into your practice, I do have a 30-day yoga challenge in the description. And I would love to practice with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, let's give our shoulders some love. We'll start off on our knees and you can always put padding underneath your knees or underneath your booty if it's a little bit more comfortable for you that way. I'm gonna take toes pose where I tuck my toes under. It gives me a little bit more height. Option for you to do that as well. Of course, yogi's choice always. Inhale your arms up, stretch nice and long through your ribs, through your vertebrae. And then exhale through cactus, pull your elbows really far back behind you, shine your chest forward. Inhale, arms up, and exhale through cactus, just moving with your, your breath here. And you wanna exaggerate this pose, but you also wanna move really gently as we create more space in our body. So maybe you close down the eyes, and just move with your breath. A few more here. Just warming up this area, the chest, the shoulders, bring in some circulation. And then the next time your hands are exhaled all the way by your side, bring them behind you, clasp your hands or your elbows behind your back, and then chase the ground with your hands or your elbows. So you're getting this nice big chest opening stretch. Draw your ribs in but puff your, your sternum, that place right in between your collarbones up towards the sky. Option for your hands to find the ground behind you or a block. And just deep breaths here. Bring the chest all the way up to your chest. For three. For two. For one, slowly release, come upright. If your toes were tucked in toes pose, give them a little pat out, a little bit of sweetness there. And then we'll take our strap and we'll do some strap work. So hands, give them a, give them a decent bit of, uh, of strap here. And on our inhale, we'll raise the strap up. When we're right overhead, shrug up. We wanna protect our shoulders, shrug up. And then on the exhale, send them back behind us. It doesn't have to come all the way back behind us. And maybe we widen our stance here on the strap. And then inhale, slowly come back to the top. And exhale, bring them back to your knee. So we're always inhaling on the expansion. So inhale, bring the strap up, shrug up. And then exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it up. And try not to hit your lovely little plant if you have one around you. Sorry, plant. And exhale, bring the strap down. And with your own breath here, and I'll tell you a little story about my plant, this little fiddly fig. I've had them for a while. And uh, recently I noticed that 
they were dusty and I read up on that. And apparently if the leaves of your plants are dusty, they don't grow as well. That makes sense because they can't, they don't get as much sun on the leaves. So they can't do their growing chlorophyll thing that they need to do. So beware of the dusty leaves on your plants. It was so loving to like wash off their, their leaves and especially with the fiddle leaf fig because their leaves are so large. I feel it was a very sweet act. I felt very loving. <laughs> Enough about plants, or we could go on, but we'll stick to the yoga. Place your strap to the side, and we'll come onto a tabletop, but just we're coming through it, we'll lay down on our stomachs. Arms out like a T, and we'll roll over onto our right side. So our right arm is behind us. We're laying on our right side. Our left leg comes up like a kickstand. And then your left hand reaches up and back. Big chest opening, shoulder stretch here. Maybe you close down the eyes and breathe for five breaths here. slowly with control come through center switch it out roll onto our left side so our left arm is behind us our right leg comes up like a kickstand and our right arm reaches back opening through the chest five breaths here Come through center, hands under your shoulders, press up and back into uh, almost a child's pose, but we're gonna take our knees at 90 degrees, and then we're gonna walk our hands forward. We're coming into puppy pose. So knees at 90 degrees. For less of an intense puppy, you can walk your hands as wide as the mat. If you're really trying to get that stretch, then walk your hands together. Deep breaths here. Bring your awareness to your shoulders and see if you can relax. Release with each exhale. Allow your body to stop clenching, to stop forcing, and just be in this puppy pose. And it can be kind of intense. If you need to come out, then come back in. That's fine. Three more breaths here. Nice. Start to come out. We'll sit our booty back on our heels. We'll grab our block and we'll place it about maybe two feet in front of us. And we're gonna come into puppy again, but it's gonna be a different one using our block. We're gonna place our forearms right on our block and then bring our forearms back behind us, or rather our, <laughs> our hands back behind us. So I like to start off almost like a tabletop with my forearms on the block, my knees on the mat, and then I dip my head in between very gently and sweetly, and then I bring my hands back towards my chest. Try to keep your ribs up here, so not turning this into too much of a back bend, but we're, we're really stretching through our triceps and our shoulders. This is a great shoulder mobility stretch. So maybe you close down the eyes here. Take a few deep breaths. Relax in. See if you can release any tension. Any clenching in your shoulders, in your neck. Just let gravity help you stretch this out. Three more breaths here. Slowly, slowly, slowly straighten your arms back out. Your elbows are still on the mat. 
And then I like to shimmy my arms off, come into a tabletop position, and sit back down on your heels. Give your shoulders a nice little roll out. And the next time you roll, your shoulders come down and back. Leave them there and feel the energy that you've created in your shoulders in that nice new space. And keep your shoulders down and go through your day, and I hope you have an awesome one. Namaste, friends.